Hello Earth Signs, Taurus, Capy, Virgo. Welcome back to my channel, everyone, and thank you for being here with me. Today, we're going to be looking at who is the person who is coming back to you in the coming days. Who is the one that you are supposed to reconnect with? And we'll see what we can learn about when they're coming back, how they're going to do it, when this could be. Um, before I jump into this reading, though, please subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, that would be very much appreciated. I am so very thankful uh, for how much the channel has grown. So thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. Um, this is for Taurus, uh, Taurus, Capi, and Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or to the cross, which is uh, connecting with a Virgo, this uh, uh, Taurus, Capi, Virgo. This could be for you as well. So using a couple of different decks let's get some let's get some insight into who is coming back who is the one who is going to return to you okay they're coming back and they're offering a lot okay Getting a Leo with the Queen of Wands. Okay, strong fire energy so far. Could be this Earth sign as well. Uh, let's get one more. Okay. You have had a very big impact on this person. Um... And there was a very strong attraction. So I'm getting quite an attractive person. Um, this is someone quite well accomplished and successful. Um, they've got something big. They're coming back with something big to offer you. Let's see what else comes up. Okay, Hermit could be a Virgo. Uh, Sagittarius. Okay, definitely things aren't over. Things aren't over just yet. Okay, Three of Cups makes me feel like um, this is someone that you might still be civil with. Some of you guys are still speaking to this person. Like, you still check up on each other. Um, I don't think it's been entirely no contact. Angels are communicators, so there's been some sort of communication. Now, this could be um, subliminal communication as well. If, you, uh, if you've been... Um, broken up or, or anything like that and um, you've been subliminally contacting each other or energetically this could also be the case so it could be it could be like this person is trying to channel your energy um, they might be posting certain quotes they might be posting certain songs it's something on a subconscious or a very subliminal level um, but I get the three of cups, this person, there's someone coming back that wants to be friends. Either you're friends with them now, or they're going to come back and say, can we be friends? And it's sort of their way of getting, um, getting back into your life, I think. This person could be older. We've got a couple of queens and the hermit, which is a, an older figure. So it could be someone who is older than you. Um, if they're not older in age, then I get a, a, a maturity with this person. Feel like they've done a lot they've seen a lot they've been out and about um i get a very ambitious uh, person very good communicator so something about the judgment they may work in law um they may be a great communicator they could work in communications and events possibly even the tourism industry or be um mixed race or mixed heritage or someone who's further afield like you might have met online and had an online relationship uh you might have sort of met through a trip or had a romance overseas or it could be like this is the the, the long distance connection it could be someone who travels a lot and at some time or another they've been very far from you uh, geographically all okay, right um spirit god the universe wants you to have another chance with each other but Earth signs, you're coming up as the five, the knight, the ace of wands, and the hermit energy. Okay. It makes me feel like you are not entirely trusting of this person. Or you've been hurt by them before. You've been very neglected. This is a card of neglect. Um, and, you know, you're still clad in your armor here, which makes me think this isn't someone you... 
look, I'm getting more of an energy where you had a connection or a relationship with this person, but it wasn't for very long. Um, it could be someone you were friends with, then dated, and then s decided to remain friends. But since from uh, since being apart from you, they've had more time to think, and it's like anyone that they've met just doesn't compare to you. Um, you're one of a kind. You're coming up as the Ace of Pentacles. So what you offered them, they haven't found in anyone else. But I get that you felt neglected. Now, there could be um, like a, a group thing. Somehow your mutual friends got involved in this relationship for some of you. Like maybe a friend introduced you. It was a little bit complicated. Or maybe like this person was your friend's ex. Somehow there was friends in the picture. The Three of Cups is the friendship card. And I get that this might have caused some drama. I'm not going to lie. It might have caused some drama in between or jealousy even. Queen of Wands is jealousy. Maybe this person's still jealous over you. You don't know it. No, I think they showed. I think they showed a part of them that was jealous. Um, but yeah, I'm getting like you've you've felt neglected by them before, and it's almost like you weren't entirely interested in this person at first and then somehow they hooked you in and then you got hooked and then they might have backed away or something might have happened um this time around it's more balanced i'm getting see that yin and yang symbol with the temperance because time is on your side time you both needed time away from each other time did this connection good um i felt like there was some misjudgment someone judged too quickly this is why i don't feel like this is the person i'm picking up is more of a briefer connection in time rather than like a long term for some of you it might have been but i'm getting something very it was a very new relationship or it didn't reach its full potential before things ended but i'm getting some contact was made so either mutual friends have passed on info on both sides um, or somehow you've you've sort of been kept in the loop here. You've been kept in the circle. So I don't think this is like someone you've blocked and like you don't know anything about. You have been getting information about this person and vice versa. They've been getting information on you. It's definitely a stubborn streak to them though. Um, could be like this player kind of energy, right? It's like a bit of a bachelor, bachelorette. It's like... They get attention from a lot of people. They're very attractive. They're ambitious. Um, you caught their attention, but I don't think it was the right time, Earth Signs. I feel like now could be the time because Ace of Pentacles is all about having that patience. It's the star of creation. So there's something that the two of you have to create with each other. And that's still, that's still in the process. I get that this person has been single. Um, I don't think they've been in a long-term relationship since you. I'm getting a sense with the hermit they've been single. Could also be like an entrepreneur or someone who's a bit alternative, a little bit different. Okay, they're not, they might look a certain way, but once you get to know them, they're, when you did get to know them, you were genuinely surprised because they just, they looked a certain type or you sort of maybe generalized or stereotyped them but then once you sort of got to know each other you got talking you get to know them you're like oh wow like mm, okay yum you know <laughs> like you liked where this was going oh look they're definitely yummy they're the yummy mummy or the 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 you know the the, the guy that's just or however they identify i definitely feel like they're there's a very powerful allure about them wheel of fortune is here um again i'm i'm thinking i'm thinking that it's something about a divine time they're returning at a very divine time in your life so you might have lots of other bits and pieces going on in your life but they're somehow faded or supposed to be through destiny they're supposed to be connected to you
So things, things, things are somehow intertwined. No, notice how this is all intertwined. Your lives are still intertwined, Earth signs. Could be orbiting you on social media. It could be that friendship circle that you both still maintain, but somehow you're still intertwined. You're still linked with each other um, is what I'm getting. Look, I wouldn't be surprised if for some of you, this person just calls or messages you out of the blue and even invites you out to a holiday or a destination they might be at. So you might get a random call and be like, hey, you know, I'm in the city or uh, I'm overseas, that place we always wanted to go to. I'm here. Do you want to come out? Like it could be very spur of the moment and very surprising in the way that they approach. They're going to be pretty bold and daring. Um, they do have a softer side with the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is divine firm energy. This person still cares about you. It's care, it's compassion, it's love. Okay, for some of you, this person was either starting to fall in love or did fall in love with you, but they might have never have said it. Um, or if they did, they didn't say it enough. But I'm getting a let's have fun with it and see where it goes kind of energy. I do feel like they want to offer you more, but their approach is going to be more on the let's hang out. So I'm seeing that this person might plan a bit of fun dates here with you. Um, hmm. couple of fives and number five is standing out so could be 5 p.m five days it could be 5 a.m it could be the number five someone with a life path number five what else i had something else i've just gone i had a mental blank oh um they have some really big things going on in their life okay five is a number of huge huge decisions it's either the decision is a huge decision for them to come back to you, which means they want something serious, right? Otherwise, they wouldn't have, they wouldn't be in a five vibration. The fact that they are very much could speak about they're assessing some big things in their life. I wouldn't be surprised if they've made a big move or bought another property or got promoted. Okay, promotion's a big one, um, but it's changed their lifestyle in some way. And now they're sort of thinking to themselves, okay, well, I've got this and I've got that and I'm good at this, but what don't I have? And I feel like you're the missing link for them. You're the missing piece of the puzzle. <coughs> and you're the one they sort of want to reconnect with. But my spidey sense is telling me you might not be fully trusting of this person when they return. Um, I actually see some of you might even reject this person's advances. You might reject them coming back. You might reject their message. You might, um, you know, leave them on red. You might just block them. I don't know. I feel like you may, there's, there, there could be some animosity that you still hold towards this person. So um they would be very offended if you did but again you know each situation is different and you need to listen to what your inner self is telling you to do in the situation but um i'm getting that they're going to be pretty persistent notice all these little butterflies these are messengers coming in so it could be like a string of texts a string of whatsapp commun uh, notifications um, a string of emails that they send you it could sort of be one after the other or like they'll want to keep communication going they might ask a lot of questions. They might keep sort of keep the dialogue going. Okay, they 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 won't want to sort of just leave it and that's it. Um, they will they will make more um they will make more effort. Um. Wouldn't be surprised if they're sort of um they might even they might even talk to your friends before they talk to you. Um, again, this is maybe more for those that have mutual friends with this person, or 
they might even contact your friends and try to see your situation. Are you available? Are you single? Are you dating? Or are you married? What's your situation? And they'll sort of want to suss this out, I think, before they're going to they're, they're going to make their move. But you're definitely on their mind, the hermit. They're doing a lot of overthinking, thinking and overthinking. They're anxious. They're definitely anxious about coming back. They're nervous about coming back. They're nervous as to what what they should say, how they should say it. Um, I get that there may be a pol an apology for some of you from this person. Um, or they're going to sort of acknowledge their part in, in the breakup. Uh, or their part where they sort of went wrong. That they they're going to um they're going to see things differently than they previously did. From from a different angle, from a different viewpoint, they'll see things very very differently uh, than how they did before. But they won't talk about feelings. Angels got her back towards the Queen of Cups. They're gonna. They're not going to come out and pour their heart and and you know write you this beautiful poetic love letter of all their regrets. It's definitely more a a, a logical thing rather than an emotional thing. And you know they might be more logic driven than emotion. They might only have a little bit of water in their chart, or just to, you know how they handle themselves. They need to be prim, proper, to the point, pretty direct. I'm getting a direct uh, energy to this person with temperance which is sag energy and they won't sort of want to beat around the bush but take it slow knight of pentacles don't expect too much from yourselves um earth signs don't expect to be sort of feeling a certain way i think just go with it you know and acknowledge okay well i'm excited but i'm curious but i'm not going to respond right away like go with the flow and take your time because there is there is some bitterness um, and there were some things that were sort of left unsaid between the both of you so I think that has to sort of be um, be addressed eventually uh, but in the meantime I think let it flow organically let it come naturally and you will know if you want to give this another chance um, the ball's in your court, absolutely, but the Wheel of Fortune is a new cycle. So there is some sort of cycle with this person, whether it's a cycle of friendship, whether it's another relationship, whether it's a cycle of not speaking to each other. There is a major shift, could even be like a major milestone that you both have to, um, you both have to come together for. But yeah, it could be someone under a Virgo, Sag, Leo, We've got Queen of Cups. She can be water energy, the moon behind us, a Cancer. So there could be that Leo, Leo, Virgo, Sag, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus in their chart. Or have quite a bit of it in their, in their natal birth chart. So, yes, this will be very interesting to see how this unfolds for you. And, you know, don't make the big decisions. Let, let Don't make that just yet. Don't make that call just yet. The right, the right decision will come to you. Trust your inner self. Trust your higher judgment. Trust your inner child. Trust your guardian angels, your spirit guides. They will point you in the right direction. Absolutely. I am going to leave it at that though, Earth Sign. So thank you, Taurus, Cappy, and Virgo for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That would be lovely. Uh, and if you were after a private reading with me, please email me and I can um, send you all the info that you need. Otherwise, I really do appreciate you being here with me. Um, the channel has grown so, so much. So thank you for popping in, whether it's daily, weekly, monthly, or just whenever you see me pop up um it really does mean a lot so i do want to send out lots of love to you all and lots and lots of angel blessings and hopefully a beautiful reunion ahead so thank you so so much all the best and bye for now